and I always thought, like, well, this is only a month. We should be doing this full time. And so I had a studio, and I said, like, well, you know, maybe we should just start meeting once a week and fuck around. You know, let's see what happens, you know? So we, we had toys, we like did whatever, so, yeah. And, uh, and how, how did it, how, like, what was the, what was sort of the, the, the defining philosophy of Fishbone in terms of how did you start attracting other people in Santa Barbara that, what were they attracted to, what were you doing, like, what did, I, what did your Wednesday night look like down there? Well, I think the thing, the thing was that we were interested in getting artists together and how could you do like, like large scale um, collaborative pieces um, that didn't involve paying people. <laughs> I mean, basically, like, we, we wanted people to do art for ourselves. And so, you know, that, that involved like all of us volunteering our time, which was kind of a, a unique thing, because originally the idea was to have a, an event company, and we would get people from Montecito to pay us fifty thousand dollars for parties. And they, you know, they, the problem with that was that they were in charge and not us, and we wanted to be in charge. You know, yeah. So yeah. That really was the the whole thing of the fish can, can you take us back to a memory of that time down there in the funk zone and outside of your studio, something that you guys did that uh, that you that you think? Well, my my of? Favorite, I'm going to actually show you this later, but my favorite moment was that Alan Macy, uh, who, who is a scientist, and who is an artist, found a fish place, found you know, catalog, uh, an advertisement for fire rats, for rats, that would be uh, automatically controlled by a, um, like a remote control. And so we bought a bunch of these rats, and they, and so like, what do you do with them? Well, obviously we wanted to have them have fire involved. So we had a little cup, put, and we had lamp oil that we put in there. And so this, the fire rats were like, and they had two two forms of uh, that they'd either go forward and they'd go in circles, which was excellent. So yeah, we had like five or six fire rats. Yeah, and then they uh, and also one control did all of them. So they would all go forward and they'll all go in spirit circles. That was my favorite moment. So, so the fire rats was you know, we knew we had something when we were And then and and so Fishbone was started as to, meant to be a collaborative space, a collaborative place. Yes, yes. I mean, I think that we were we were thinking that as artists, um, it's awesome to artists always love to play together. So our original idea was to like we would uh, like create this, an environment, uh, like a a moment that we could all play together, and there would be whatever you know toys to to play with. So yeah. Well, it's an incredible legacy, and uh, you've, uh, I understand you, you've, you've fi uh, Laura shared with me that uh, the pandemic finally allowed you this, the, the lack of distractions to focus on doing that book that you always wanted to do. Yeah, I think that, well, I, you know, I was like quarantined, so like, it was an opportunity to, to write, you know, to reflect and write, write the book. So, yeah. what, 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 what do you hope that people take away when they, when they read that book? It's, I think, I think Fishbone has all, always been about fun. Yahoo! We're about fun. Fun! 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 Oh. Yeah, so we will like, by whatever means necessary to create fun. So. Yeah. Well, what, what, what can you tell us about the book? Uh, the book is really just a, a memoir in a sense. There's a lot of personal uh, stuff and also just, I really just kind of went through and like all the events that we did and the collaborations that we did and, you know, that was, that was kind of like the, the thing we what are, what are some of your favorite uh, things that have spawned out of Fishbone? Well, I think one of the one of the most awesome ones was uh, the Lucidity Festival. Yeah. Like we were, we were thinking like we were like these like semi old guys. We're not really old, but you know, semi old. And with, with these like people that were like in their twenties and thirties, we had like either a we can like include them 
or we can, you know, like compete with them. We thought, like, well, we have things to offer to them, and let's include them. And what a great, you know, collaboration that was, really. You know, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, totally different, like, and, and wonderful. Yeah. So you, uh, you actually left Santa Barbara, and you moved to Costa Rica. No, I didn't, but I moved to Ecuador. Ecuador, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I told you I knew. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what year was that? This was 2013. And you started a sub-chapter of the yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we were down there, and we had a colonial house that was pretty large, and we could, like, seat about 80 people. So we like, had a theater in there, in our house, which was pretty awesome. And uh, we just like, started seeing like, what, what, what can we do that was similar to Fishbone. We did a different audience though. It was like um, expats, they were retirees, a lot of them. So we had a much older audience. Um, but that was cool too. Uh, Fishbone del Sur? Fish, Fishbone del Sur. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I learned Spanish. I literally learned Spanish. <laughs> So, uh, so, uh, so, so what else can you, I mean, I, do, I don't know this and I don't want to put anybody in the spot. Do we have any audio visual support from the book? Do we have any slides or anything like that? We can show yeah, we do. Today. Actually, I've, I've got a little bit of a presentation that I can do and show you pieces of it. And how to get the book. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, cool. So now I need to make my way to the back. Okay. Oh, that's